Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week, or actually the weekend just gone, this is what I've purchased. So I kind of needed these few bits here. I'll explain to them as we go along. So I went into B&M and they didn't have a great deal in there, but I'm pleased with the bits that I did get. So first up is this little amazing dinky desk dust pan and brush. Now I always have obviously like die cuts and bits and pieces and I'm really bad to just kind of brush them off on the floor and then hoover them up later. But how cool is this? So I haven't taken anything out of the packaging yet. This was only $1.99 and it's really nice. It's the Addis um, range. It's really well made and it's grey so it's you know I like it that it kind of matches my kind of whites and stuff um, and it, it I get my words out, it hangs on my pegboard. So it is literally perfect, so I don't have to have like a more cumbersome dustpan and brush. It clips out, I mean obviously I've got no mess right now, but you can just, <laughs> I love it, it's so cute. Obviously you don't want to brush it up so fast that it shoots out the other end, but it's just there for just tiny little bits and then I can just dispose it into my bin. But I just love the way that that clicks up inside like so, and then literally, just hang it in front of me on my uh, pegboard. I love it. So I'm, yeah, I'm a bit of a sucker. Like I said, you know, I like my little gadget things and bits and pieces, but I think that is really handy. And um, you've got that cool little bit there as well. If I push that back out, I think I pushed it in too far. Okay, don't push it in so far. I just pushed that in so far that I literally almost broke my hand trying to push it back out. I just had to push it down like that. Anyway, it's okay, lesson learned. You just pop it in and that's it. It's like a little rubbery suction. But this little bit here with all the little kind of teeth, gets rid of you know any bits that are stuck in it so I love it really pleased so anyway so that's that one and then I got these here I always use these in my scrapbook layouts I go through them quite quickly and um, I always like them when they have more than just one a one b so you can see here there's multiples um, and you've got the smaller as well so you've got your large and then your smaller ones get the glare off there can you see so yeah, large and small, so I thought that was really nice. And then this one here, you get loads. So you get five of each, oh no, five A's, sorry, then three of your most common, but then there's four C's, four D's, four E's. There's actually, and then three G's. Anyway, you can, <laughs> you can get the what I'm trying to get across there. And you've got your numbers and yeah, all sorts. So I thought they were quite good, 149 each. Um, I picked up glitter paper, I've had this one before and it, it's really nice, 210 GSM and you just get two of each colour and they're more of a shimmer so they're really smooth. Oh there's three of that one, there's only always been two of each, hmm, hang on a minute let me go through, because that's, oh, and then two of the green, two of the blue, so they give you three of silver, three of gold, I'm sure that's changed. Anyway, three silver, three gold, and then two of your other colours. But you can see there, they've got a really nice shimmer to them. Um, and I just love the colours that you get. So they're great. Obviously, those are nice for, you know, more um, masculine style cards. there. Yeah, because I still like to add sometimes a bit of sparkle, even if it's a male card. So that was those. So again, $1.99. That will last me for a short while. And then I got this glitter, $4.99. I've seen this before and I didn't get it last time, but you get so much. And I really want these colours, believe it or not, because these are going to look so nice for summer projects. I mean, obviously, well, maybe I will put them together, but um, they're just really nice, bright, vibrant glitters. And um, I don't know how much is each pot. So this $4.99, it doesn't say. You get 18 pots. Um, but it's really nice, plus you get the black glitter, which you don't see everywhere. And um, the pots are always handy to use again afterwards. I just love them, I just think there's a really nice mix there. And you get a really nice, that's a fine gold. Yeah, that's the fine um, glitter. I was lucky, the lid was a bit loose. You got a fine there, just in that one, and then all the rest are more thicker, coarser glitters. But these are great in your shaker cards as well. Mix them in with sequins, and they look really nice. So yeah, really pleased with them. Then I just picked up this bag. This was actually in the wedding section, um, but I always use these in shaker cards. They're just little silver hearts and they're perfect for all year round. And um, yeah, they're always handy. So although they're table like confetti and stuff for a pound, use them in your shaker cards. So just look, don't always look in the craft sections. Like when I go into some of the craft stores, I'll go to the wedding departments because you get other things in there that um, will work well within your crafting as well. So that one. And then 
believe it or not, out of everything, I'm more excited with this. Now, um, I'm going to be showing you a really fun tutorial next week of a craft that I used to do in school which I was reminded about this weekend, just gone, on Creating Craft. So if you've watched Creating Craft, you're going to know exactly straight away what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, 129 bargain. You want to get the, um, the cheapest colourful um, tissue paper because that is the tissue paper that bleeds and the colour runs and that's what you want. So don't go out paying out loads of money for expensive tissues because you actually want the cheap ones and you want the bright colours, you want the rainbow colours. So I know that Card Factory in the UK, they sell tissue paper like this. I'm sure that one works. But um, yeah, I'm going to be sharing a very fun tutorial which I think a lot of you will like. So that's everything there. So that's my little BMN B and M splurge. Well, it's not really a splurge bargains um yeah so i hope you liked it i hope you can get your hands on some of this definitely get that stuff and uh yeah i'm gonna go and put this all in my craft room thanks for watching bye